We have in-depth coverage now on North Korea and the new sanctions the country is facing. The U.N. Security Council approved the sanctions on Wednesday. This follows a nuclear test and a missile launch North Korea conducted earlier this year. Eyewitness News Analyst Lieutenant General Reginald Centracchio joins us now live in our studio to break down the new sanctions. You've been saying for a long time now that sanctions do not work. They are not effective. So what's next? Well, once again, just to undergird that statement, for the past 10 years there have been sanctions against North Korea, none of which have been effective. They continue to test uh, nuclear tests, they continue to launch missiles, and in defiance of the United Nations Security Council. This particular one, however, is a little bit different. Uh, we do have China as a member of the Security Council who has in fact wordsmith this particular sanction with the United States. Now the key to it is in fact whether they can actually uh, make sure that these sanctions are effective. Can they enforce them? And such things as no aviation fuel, no flights by North Korean aircraft, and other things that need enforcement. North Korea fired six short-range projectiles into the sea hours after those sanctions were announced. What are we talking about here, General? We're talking, once again, defiance. You know, there's nothing that works, uh, as is the case for the past 10 years, with the exception that now China, if China makes a statement to say to North Korea, enough is enough, then you might have some consequences for this uh, sanction. Incidentally, this sanction is voted on this particular weekend by 15 members of the United Nations uh, Security Council. But someone has to enforce it, and that's the key to it. Unless they enforce it and it's meaningful, it's of no consequence. You know, the sanctions are there to shut down their money flow, so where are they going to get the money from? Well, from states like Iran, certainly China, and because China is also concerned about the economy of North Korea are faltering. If it falters, then China picks up that responsibility. So whatever they do, there's always a concern. They don't want to go too far. All right. Eyewitness News Analyst, Lieutenant General Reginald Centracchio. General, thank you very much.